Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Ludo is about to get kicked out. He thinks it's not playtime, buddy. Can you just sit here with your bunny with me? That's a bit of a loud toy though, can we? Okay. Always one piece of hair. Always one. But hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to it if you've never been here. If you're just stumbling across, my name is Amy. I am 32. I just had my first baby nine months ago. So a few months ago, I did a video on the baby slash newborn products that we love, that we found really helpful. I can link that up in the corner. But I did mention that I would be doing a products we didn't like. So this video is baby slash newborn products that we did not like. Luckily for the most part, I did a lot of research into everything that we got. I, I, I think everybody does that when they're spending a bunch of money or making decisions about their future baby in order to keep them safe and comfortable and all that. And so I think for that reason, we love a lot of the stuff that we ended up registering for, getting as gifts, buying ourselves. But I do have a list on my phone of things we did not like, of course. It's not a very long list of things we don't like, but of course a few of them were like big ticket expensive items. <laughs> so we're gonna get into what I didn't like. Maybe I didn't necessarily not like it, but Milo didn't like it or it didn't work for this specific baby. And to give my usual disclaimer that I give with products I don't like videos, please don't be offended. This everything is so... Mm, I can't think of the word even though I use that word all the time subjective. <laughs> every baby is so different. Every, you know, everybody's lifestyle is different. So uh, keep that in mind if I mention a product that you love or that you've done your research on and you think will really work for you. You know, take my words with a grain of salt, but I will tell you in detail what we didn't like, why we didn't like it, and what we like instead. So let's go ahead and jump into it. A lot of these were expensive. So we'll start off with the Mamaru. I feel like, I and even, I feel like I read a lot Calm down. Okay, all right, sit down or get down or something. I feel like when we... <laughs> Can you lay down? Lay down, good boy. Okay, no, we can't. If you're in need of some love in your life, may I recommend a mini golden doodle? They need a lot of love. My parents have one too and he's just as needy. Also COVID puppy, so. Okay, can mommy film now, please? I'll talk to you after, I promise. <laughs> so I feel like with the Mamaru, funnily enough, I didn't see like nearly any bad reviews. It was mostly like, this is just what everybody recommends. This is what you should go with. And I do really like, it's a cool product. I love the way it looks. It takes up very little room, has a lot of features, a lot of different movements. Just personally for our son, Milo did not enjoy it. Even with a newborn insert in there, he just, it, he didn't fit right in it and he never enjoyed being in it. He did enjoy being in some sort of Graco swing that we actually borrowed from Bradley's cousin. Links to everything that I do like will be in that baby products I do like video. So I suggest checking that out or at least checking out the description box. But he much preferred that Graco swing. It was a little more comfortable for him. That one was awesome too. I think like half the price. The Mamaru is expensive. I feel like it's like $250. It's a lot of money. But that's the thing that I learned with baby swings in general is like you just really don't know with every baby. Like every baby has different tastes and what they like in a swing. So I was excited that we borrowed the other swing from Bradley's cousin just so we didn't have to spend money on another swing and we could we could like use two, see which one he liked better. And he did not like the Mamaru. We were planning on selling it like on Facebook Marketplace or something, but I just watched Jessica Braun's vlog where she just had her second baby. And she said that her first baby did not like it, but her second baby does. So I'm like, well, shoot, should I hang on to it? I just don't know. I feel like I'd rather just buy that Graco swing. But again, every baby's different, so how are you to know? So I don't know if we'll hold on to it or pass it along. I just kind of want to sell it and get it out of our hair. <laughs> But yeah, that is one thing that Milo did not enjoy was the Mamaru, so it barely got any use. Something else so expensive that we unfortunately do not like is the Owlet baby monitor. We're still using it because we have it and it was so much money, but it just sucks. <laughs> And I feel like I did a lot of research with baby monitors too. And I feel like with all of them, it just is kind of, there's a, just, there's a slew of reviews that say it has a bad connection and then there's great reviews. 
on all of them. So it was kind of just down to like, I don't know, I went with my gut or I went with the one I liked the most. I don't remember why I went with the outlet in the end. I think it was the sock, which we didn't even end up getting the sock. The outlet monitor, you can also buy this like smart sock that the baby wears to sleep and it will alert your phone if the baby's heart rate is too fast or too slow, it's breathing, it stops breathing, like anything like that medical, which is super cool. And my OCD would have loved that, <laughs> but we just, it was on our registry, nobody bought it for us. We decided not to buy it because it was so expensive. So I think that's why I went with it in the long run. Oh, that drawer is a little bit open. That's gonna drive me nuts. I'll close it in a minute, let me. <laughs> but the connection issue, issues, the connection issues just suck so, so much, so much. I feel like it's gotten better in the beginning. It was almost like we are selling this thing immediately and buying something else, but it has gotten better, but it shuts off on its own in the middle of the night all the time. Even when my iPad is plugged in, it just decides, eh. And then I wake up and I go to look at my baby and I can't because it just, I have to reconnect it. Sometimes when we put him down, we don't leave the monitor on all the time because I'm like freaked out by that. We just turn it on for when he's napping. Sometimes we'll put him down and it's like 10 minutes after we put, we turned the monitor on and we still can't get it to connect to either our phones or our iPads or anything. The other night it decided to disconnect itself from the Wi-Fi or unpair the device from our app that we had. So we had to go in there and like they have this whole system where you scan a barcode into the camera. We had to wake up our son and he woke up and we had to like, shift our whole night because it was like 10 30 at night and I was like I can't go to bed without seeing my child I won't sleep it just is not a camera I would recommend my brother had a baby like nine weeks after me they went with the nanit um and I've borrowed it Milo has taken naps in her crib <laughs> sometimes and I've used it to watch it and I've never had any problems with that one there again I don't like use it every day so I don't know um I kind of wish that I went with a baby monitor that wasn't like a smartphone device I wish I went with one that just has its own thing because it can get confusing like do you have it on the phone do you have it on the iPad who's watching the baby I just wish we just had like the one like it just was a monitor that went with that's a personal choice it is really convenient and really cool that I can just pull it up on my phone or my iPad even if I'm like out getting my nails done and Bradley's home with the baby I say my nails done that's literally like the only time I leave my house to get my nails done or do some grocery shopping or have like an outing at Target but I love that if I'm out and about or doing something and I want to just look in I'm out I can look in and I can see him so so that is a cool aspect of it when we like left him. We left him one night to go to a party with my sister and I got to like watch the bedtime routine through the camera, which was fun. We kind of creepy, but she knew I was watching. <laughs> but so that aspect of it is convenient. But if we did have another kid, I would probably opt for getting a whole new system that has one monitor that could do a split screen. I know that that exists. And so, um, yeah, the outlet I do not think is worth your money. In some areas of the house, we have a bad internet connection, but his room is not one of them because the modem isn't here and his is right next to us. And so we never have a problem in there. So I know it's not that. So I don't have a, I don't have another suggestion for you besides my brother likes the Nanit because we just have been working with this one because it's what we have. It's what was given to us. It's what we registered for and it was so expensive, but yeah. Think twice before getting the outlet. Okay, if things look weird, well, not weird. They shouldn't look weird. If they look different, it's because my baby woke up from his nap. I had to go tend to it, but now my husband's home so I can press on. Something else we don't love that we use multiple times a day is the Ubi diaper pill. I, when it comes to diaper pills, it pretty much seemed you go with the Ubi or you go with the Diaper Genie. The only reason I picked the Ubi over the Diaper Genie is that I read so many reviews that you have to buy the Diaper Genie specific bags for it. And the Ubi, you could use whatever bags you wanted. You could use trash bags from Costco, which is what we buy, which pro tip, the trash bags from Costco are amazing and you get so many I think for like 13 14 dollars and they last us like half a year so we wanted to be able to use that just because it's so affordable and I didn't want to have to always worry about do we have you know what I mean you know but it might be for good reason because that ubi diaper pail stinks if you are not on top of like making sure you take them out all the time we have to clean it a lot we have to let it air out it stinks so I think we talk all the time about selling that one and just getting the diaper genie the ubi is also like $30 more I think the diaper genie is $40 so food for thought. I do really like the way the Ubi looks. It's very like sleek. We have it in this really nice like green color. Um, and another major pro, again, my brother opted for the diaper genie, so I've used it at his house. The pedal, you don't have to use your hands to open it. 
you do have to use your hands to like slide the ubi pail open you don't have to touch anything on the diaper genie so you can just toss the diaper in there um that was a mistake should have gone with the diaper genie in which actually we registered for the ubi but we got both as a present and we just ended up returning the diaper genie with the gift receipt and i wish like we would have tried them out both but i guess then you can't return it but that is something we might switch out because we just really it's just it stinks it really stinks while we're talking diapering i was hesitant to even register for this because it just seemed so unnecessary but the hiccupop baby wipe warmer like it just isn't necessary like i'm sure it's nice for the baby and all that but it just for us wasn't feasible because our changing table didn't have like it's it's a bookshelf slash changing changing table and there's no other room on top except for where the changing pad goes so there was nowhere up there to store it um i don't have holes in the back of the bookshelf to put like the outlet through I don't even know if there's an outlet like where we chose to have the changing station. So it just wasn't feasible. So then we had it in the bathroom for a little bit, but it kind of freaked me out that you like had to have it on all the time. And then the wipes were like half warm. So for us, it just, we did not like it at all. We also registered for the Oxotot diaper wipe dispenser. We love that. That thing is amazing. It comes with like a weight to hold it down. So you just pull up what you need. We never have a problem with it. That thing is awesome. The hiccup pop is just unnecessary. And like, I felt like the warming techniques of it didn't even work that well. And it was just inconvenient for us. And a lot of people, when I asked for suggestions, suggested a wipe warmer. So it's something that a lot of people like and use. I think just for us though, it just was like that we didn't need it. <laughs> Another somewhat pricey one is the Solly or Soli, S-O-L-L-Y baby wrap. So many people suggested this and it I can see how it would be super comfortable, but I think well, for two reasons. Number one, I had to watch the instructional video every single time I wanted to wear my son because it's just essentially this long piece of scarf that you tie in a way. And I'm sure if I kept using it like for a few months, I would have gotten it down and I wouldn't have needed the instructional video. But for that month or so I was trying it, like I just couldn't get it without doing the step by step and I'd have to pause and do the next step and all that. But mostly I just don't think it like worked with maybe my body, I have a short torso, um, but Milo would always just sit super low in it. And I was worried about him suffocating like deep in there and I could have been doing it wrong. I don't think I was and I was tying it super tight because I wanted him to be secure, but he would just droop in it and he was a bigger newborn. So yeah, we ended up registering for a couple of those. We got them, so we had two of them. I think I'll keep one in case we have another baby and try it out again, but I think I'm gonna sell the other one. Um, but we much preferred, we just had like a gray coat. When buying it, I was like, this looks so harsh. It looks like a bulletproof vest, but it's really not and we love it. I love wearing him in it. Bradley wears him in it all the time. I can link what I've liked instead it's all linked in that other video, but I will also link, like I'll have a little section of what I liked instead in the description box, because I don't remember the name of it. It's great, go something. It is one of the ones that has like the buckles and all that, but it is still super comfortable. And he just feels really secure in it. He loves being in it. He would sleep on me in that thing all the time. There were days when we were trying to get stuff done and he was just so fussy unless we were holding him. So we'd put it in there and he would nap as we like cleaned the kitchen or whatever it was. So um, we liked that one way better. Just a little bit sturdier and comfortable, more comfortable for both of us. Let's talk, this is a more recent toy. The Fisher Price Dog Walker. Uh, first of all, the wheels barely work, so there's that. But the main reason I don't like it is just because it's the most annoying thing I've ever heard in my life. I truly want to run it over with my car and then set it on fire. I hate it. <laughs> and like, no kid's toy is like not not annoying, but that Fisher Price dog like really gets under my skin. <laughs> I have a, a I have beef with that dog. And we have tons of Fisher Price stuff that doesn't have the dog on it that we love. Milo loves the walker, he loves all of it. But I personally would like to do exactly as I said, run it over with my car, smash it to pieces. I was talking about um, baby toys in my latest, it was like a day in my life video, I can link it up in the corner. And somebody commented was like, why do all the toys have the ghost kid giggle? And it made me laugh out loud because they do. They just have like this kid going <laughs> and it just plays randomly. And I'm like, I'm, oh my God. We have another walker from VTech that we like better because there's an off switch. The Fisher Price one does not have an off switch. And it just, 
it haunts my nightmares, truly. Anything with that dog on it, I can't stand. I just can't stand his like voice. I don't, I'm being so rude to the Fisher Price dog, but that's just something I've learned. I've literally announced to at least my side of the family, I need to tell Bradley's side of the family, that like for his birthday, please don't buy him anything with that Fisher Price dog on it. Like I will return it. I even thought about registering for his first birthday when I was like, Kate, Amy, people are going to judge you if you do that. But I feel like it's a good idea. I just, I'm so particular with what I like want for him. Luckily he's really into them, but I'm into them too. I'm not one of the moms that has anything against light up toys and all that stuff, but I do see where like the Montessori style toys are better for his imagination and he really enjoys Montessori style toys as well. He loves colorful things. We are very lucky enough that the um, Love Every company sends us their play kits, which they go in two month increments. They have new play kits that have toys made for your child specific developments. So we just got the nine and 10 month one um, and there's a bunch of stuff in there. There's some blocks that he's already banging together and there's just some more advanced stuff he can work up towards. And that's what's been nice about Milo so far is like with toys and with food, like he likes everything. <laughs> so I just, I personally can never see that Fisher Price dog again. I can't, I just can't do it. And then my very last one is random, but I did want to say this in case you're, you have them on your registry or you're thinking about it. Carters, and I'm sure other companies too. And I'm not even sure what the point is. What is the point of these? But they have these onesies. I got a, I registered for them because I didn't know that they were like this. I just liked the print, but they are, they were long sleeve onesies, which he was born in the summer and I got newborn sizes. So we did not use those. They're long sleeve onesies. They have, they, they, it snaps across. So you snap a button on this side and then you snap three buttons on that side. And it was just confusing. It was way too, I don't, I don't even know that I successfully ever did it. And I just don't understand the point. And I never, once I like tried to put one on him and then it didn't work out, I put it in the like to sell or to donate pile because for me, it just did not, it didn't mesh with us. If you know the point of the crisscross, let me know. But it wasn't even like it's a swaddle or anything cause his arms were out. So I just was, I don't know. It was just too much work. I said in like my, it was in, I think like our baby, what we got for our baby shower haul or something. But I said in that my whole journey of asking people for advice and products and all that, people are either so pro zipper or so pro snaps. I've learned over the years that I am, or the years, <laughs> I've been a mom for nine months. <laughs> I've learned over the months that I'm definitely a zipper mom. At first I was like, I like both because I found in certain brands, the zipper would like, you know how it would like pill up if it's a zipper and I thought that was just so uncomfortable. But once I found the two brands I love for baby clothes, Carter's and Old Navy, it, it doesn't do that. They just laid flat on his body. He seemed much more comfortable. And we did have some snap stuff in the beginning, but now I won't buy snap stuff. I just want the zipper, especially Old Navy and Carter's do the two way zipper. So you can just like unzip from the feet up and change the diaper and zip it back down instead of taking the whole thing off. So I definitely learned I am pro zipper. I'm even more pro magnets for the Magnetic Me ones, but they are really expensive. He's about to grow out of the last couple Magnetic Me ones we have. And I'm like, ah, should I buy more? Probably, because I love them. <laughs> but yeah, the snap across, not for me. But okay guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. I always feel bad being negative, but I watched a ton of these when I was doing research and I just hope I could help you out. If you know something I said that I didn't like about it helped you in a way, then great. If not, it's just a fun video where we can talk shiz. But yeah, that is all I feel like I could do. Maybe in like six months or a year, I could do another set of videos of like baby products I like and baby products I don't like because we're constantly trying new things. So let me know if you'd be into that. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you would. I do videos on pretty much everything. It's just basically like a home making channel, but like also I do self care and we talk about some beauty stuff. I do like monthly favorites, lots of vlogs, gardening, cooking, family life, all that kind of stuff. So if you're into that, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. I'll have some videos down here you click that you might enjoy and yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you're having a baby, good luck. It's the best. And yeah, all my love to you. So I love you guys. I'll see you very soon. Bye.